G'day guys and welcome to another one of my Digimon Re-Rise videos. Today you're watching a full gameplay showcase for a Fanimon fall down mode. Don't let the FM trick you, it's not fighter mode like I said in my previous videos. There's too many FMs and BMs and friggin BJs in this game anyway. Um, a Fanimon fall down mode is a brave type Digimon. Um, what we're going to do in this video, as we do in our, all of our showcases, we're going to compare her stats, her skills, and then we're going to take her into the game. We'll test her out on the JP side so you can see how she performs in Clash Battle, the Underworld Dungeon, and of course, PvP. So let's start with... Let's start with stats, as we always do. Let's sort by... HP. These are just some Digimon that you'll see on global currently in the meta. As you can see, not overly bulky. Not too bulky. I guess in terms of red Digimon, fairly bulky, but Apocalymon, any purples are going to be doing a better job. Um, her HP, 81, 85, compare that to Oriyukin, a little bit more than Oriyukin. Not overly a lot of bulk, fairly good for red though. Uh, moving into power. Don't worry about these guys, these are all tech Digimon down the bottom here. But, more power than the OG Omegamon, more power than Gallimon, Chaos Gallimon, more power than Zwart. She is rocking 52-58 power, which is quite high if you compare it to old OG Omegamon. That's like 600 more power than there. Pretty good in terms of power, because that's what you're going to be using it for. Defense. Quite high actually, just below Apocalymon above Zwart though. I guess she's kind of relying on her defense because she doesn't have much defense in her kit, which we'll have a look at in a second. And of course, speed, um, high speed, really, 30 speed, which is a standard red speed, I believe. Yes, it is. All right, let's have a look at skills. Main skill, 290% damage to three to, uh, <laughs> to random enemies three times, which means it's a multi-hit skill, just like Rosemmon Fury Mode, um, just like Beelzemon Blast Mode, it's a multi-hit skill. It also ignores block. No crit multiplier on there though, which is a little bit disappointing. Sub skill is 460 to two enemies. 460 is quite high for a sub skill. Plus 40% to her own power forever. So if you have no other buffers, that's gonna be useful. Um, passive, 50% to own crit rate and let self deal more damage to blue enemies. That's something to keep in mind. The 50% crit rate only lasts two turns, so it can be dispelled. Um, and dealing more damage to blue enemies is forever. The plugins are power and speed, and power and, and defense and counter. Fairly interesting. Um, as you can probably tell, this Digimon is geared toward Clash Battle, but you can have some success with her in some other modes. Um, I'm not gonna tell you if you should summon for this Digimon. Let the gameplay and my commentary kind of uh, help you make a decision for yourself. Um, let's jump straight into the game now and we'll start with Clash Battle, a real shining area for this Digimon. Alright, we're over in Clash Battle. This is the power type team that I'm going to be running for Clash Battle. I'm only running 53% crit because you get another 50% from your passive on your Afani one fall down mode. Also, Rasemmon Fury modes here, so you can compare another multi-hitter alongside Beelzemon Blast mode and two supports, um, some power defense reduction and a power buffer. Um, you can get a little bit more damage if you face a blue Digimon when you're doing your clash battles because of that passive. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. So I'm gonna start by buffing up here. And now we'll compare the three multi-hit Digimon and see who um, who's given out the biggest numbers. Here's a Fanimon. Not bad. 408,000 total. Let's compare that to Rasenmon. Or oh, about just under 400. Oh, okay. And then there's Beelzemon who hit like four times 270. Friendship skill has no uh, noticeable special effects or animation differences. It's basically just three more multi-hits. And um, the benefit of multi-hit is you can build up that friendship gauge much faster, which is always a positive. So as you can see, at skill level 10, she gets slightly harder than Rust Fury mode. 
even harder if you're facing against a calm blue Digimon. Oh, this friendship zone might finish him off. Three times 100,000, 300k with that. Not too bad. And this will finish him off. Nice. So there you go. Clash battle, fairly, fairly solid, especially if you're running a power team. So definitely something um, to consider if you're lacking in that department. Again, keep in mind, mine is pretty heavily invested as well. All right, what we're gonna do now is jump over into the Underworld Dungeon so we can see how she performs there. Okay, over in the Underworld Dungeon, running my standard Underworld Dungeon team. There is actually a harder version of the Underworld Dungeon coming soon, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, I'm running cooldown support, a little bit of crit support as well from the uh, Lucemon there. So basically you're gonna run this Digimon as your damage dealer. Um, not a bad option for the Underworld Dungeon because that multi-skill hit builds up that uh, friendship meter quite fast, which is good if you want to um, save your skills for their cooldowns or quickly get rid of a tough wave. Also, she hits quite hard, so she'll be able to deal a little bit of damage. No defense utility, unfortunately. No status protection at all. Um, so you'll definitely need to supply that for her if you're running her in the Underworld Dungeon. Yeah, as you can see, that I've already got two friendship skills off this round. Definitely the advantage to running um, a multi-hit skill as your main damage dealer in the Underworld Dungeon. Of course, cooldown support never hurts. And a way to cleanse or prevent any status ailments that you might be getting from Digimon. Not bad. Not bad damage. Only hits three times. She would be better if it hit more, obviously. She would better be better if it hit more. The three seems like I'm always waiting for that last hit, if you know what I mean. Like, Rasemmon, Bielzemon, they all hit four times. And it's just kind of like... You're waiting for that fourth hit and it just doesn't come. <laughs> it just doesn't come. All right, we should be able to wrap this up with this skill. There you go. Um, an option for the Underworld Dungeon, not top tier, but definitely a choice if you're lacking other damage dealing Digimon. Okay, let's jump into what everybody's been waiting for, PvP, to see if we can get her to do anything over there. Alrighty, over in PvP now, I'm running a super defensive uh, team, just so I can keep a funny mind alive on the JP side. Um, I've got crit protection, I've got um, defense booster in Chaos Dramon, uh, <laughs> and then I've got uh, some other damage deals. I've got Beelzemon here for dispelling. You can uh, use a Poplimon for the same kind of role. Um, so I'm gonna dispel, and then I'm gonna try and Oh, that damage is not high in PvP. I was going to say is I'm going to try and uh, dispel and then get some serious damage off with the Finemon. This guy, one, has a fairly tanky team, and two, has some more meta-relevant Digimon. But, seriously, in my personal opinion, a Finemon isn't made for PvP. You might have a little bit of luck with her whilst her stats are boosted. But because she has no defensive utility and she's not, she's a hard hitter but not the hardest hitter ever, I feel like other Digimon definitely fill the role better in PvP. Hey, we were lucky to get a win there. Um, let's see if we can get another one here. Same team again, heaps of defense support. Okay, ooh, if that's the new all force, we're in trouble here. Oh yeah, we're in big trouble. So I'll dispel. Um, I can't dispel that evasion off the Crimson Mode because it's forever. Here we go. Oh, a little bit of damage there. I was able to take out that uh, Alphamon there in, in two hits, I think. Or maybe I needed the third hit. And there you go. Yeah, taken out. So even with the defensive utility, super squishy. Um, I won't even say glass cannons. More like a glass large pistol. A glass rifle. Hits hard. But you can't be running a team that has three other Digimon just supporting your Digimon to keep you alive for that kind of damage. You really need... Uh... Oh, I'm lucky we couldn't get out of that stun there. That's fine. Look, I want to give you a realistic 
expectation of what to expect if you're taking a finding money to pvp obviously she'll do a little bit better on the global side when she releases one she'll be boosted and two the digimon won't be so powerful however i've never had extreme amount of luck using her in pvp hey that's it for a finding mon fall down mode are you guys going to summon let me know down below make sure you join that discord if you enjoyed this video Smash like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next Digimon Re-Arise video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.